Hi there, I'm going to show you how to record a video with PowerPoint. Now, not everybody knows you can record videos with PowerPoint, but yes, you can. I've got PowerPoint 2016. If you've got an older version, unless you've got a really old version, it's, it's pretty certain that you'll have the ability to record videos with PowerPoint. You might just need to look around because uh, the, the menu items you need to find it may have moved in the version that you've got. But the principle is very much the same. So let's get uh, straight into it. So I've just opened up PowerPoint. It's giving me the choice of some templates just here. I'm going to pick one I like the look of. Let's have quotable. And then you get some different coloured options to choose from. I would suggest, well, I like to change those options a bit because these um, themes and templates are, are seen all over the place and I like to make mine look a little bit different. So I'm just going to pick the pink one and then create. And then that's my title slide. So this will be the title of the video and I'm going to keep the content of the video very, very simple too. So here we go. And now I want my second slide. So if I go to new slide just there and that adds a second slide. Now that's given me a slide with a title just there and some content just there. That suits me just fine. If I wanted a different layout to that, I could go to layout and then choose a different layout from that, uh, that selection just there. But no, I'll stick with what I've got. So here's my first tip for ironing a shirt. And then I need another slide. And let's have another one. Now it's always best to save your projects as you go along so uh, I would suggest going to file and save to save that. Let's whiz past that thing because I'm sure you've saved a file before and let's convert that into a video. So we just go to file and then export and you've got a choice of different types of video you can choose from there. I'm going to create video and then you get some options so you can choose the presentation quality just there. I would go for um, internet quality or presentation quality if at all possible because it's going to look much better. And then you get a choice of recorded timings and narrations. Now in this example we've not done a narration. You could do that but I wanted to keep it really simple. But what you've got is a series of slides and you need to add some kind of timing to that. So this is where you choose how long each slide is on view for. So it's set it to five seconds. I think that's a little bit long but by all means experiment with that. So I'm going to turn mine down to three. Um, if you wanted to, you could control it with your own timings and I haven't gone into that here, but that is an option that you can use as well. You don't have to stick with the same timing for every single slide as I've chosen here. And then we create the video and it will pop up the box asking you to save your video and you know, choose a location for it to be saved. And then what you'll need to do is wait uh, a few seconds or if it's a longer video, it's going to be a few minutes for that video to be made. And then if you go to wherever you've saved that video, double click on it and it will open up that video and you can see your finished video. So I just went to my folder where I saved my video file, took a look at it, and here it is. So PowerPoint has made this video. Let's give it a play. So you can see the slides flipping over with the three second delay that I added. And I've just flipped back to the PowerPoint slide there so that you can compare. And you can see that was very, very quick and easy to do. Now that's pretty basic. There's a lot you can do to make your video far more interesting and engaging than that, of course. So you could add a narration, you could add music, you could change the colors of and the design of the background slides. Um, many, many things you can do. You would be amazed at uh, just how interesting you can make a PowerPoint video, especially if you've been subjected to really boring PowerPoint presentations in the past. It doesn't have to be that way 
at all. Lots and lots of potential there. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do the basic video. Video does not have to be difficult. So please do go out, have a go and let me know what you come up with. And if you'd like some more video tips, don't forget my Facebook group is there for you. Please do come and join us. You'd be very, very welcome.